you know, I get this question asked to me a lot. Who's the best guy you've been in the ring with? Who's the best worker? Well, see, back then, dude, we were all everybody were great workers. <laughs> Even the job boys, the well, guy in the first workers. match. Hell, they was just as good as anybody, but everybody had their gimmick. You know, you do your position and your business. Right. Well, who do I have my best match with? The hell, I can't remember. I had so many damn good matches. All of them were great, you know, like us, Manny, me, and Robert, just you and Rick Rude, or in single matches. Single matches. Great matches. But Manny would go out with the next worker and have a great match with him, too. too. Because everybody knew what they were doing. Nowadays, half of them don't know whether to wind their ass or scratch or watch. Yeah. They don't. They Top go back. Wrist lock, the damn wrist you go back and dress the room, it's like they got a play pad on their fucking arm. Look here. <laughs> like the quarterback at <laughs> the NFL. All right, high oh, spot, yeah, yeah. number one. one. High spot. Okay, hold, hold on for a minute. We're going to stop this match. High spot number two. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you know, don't know how to tell a story. They don't know how to tell a story. Got no psychology whatsoever. You know, really, really man, look, I never even watched wrestling. Well, But, you know, I had to. Hogan's coming in at TNA. And, yeah, right. So yeah, I yeah. flick on TNA and I'm watching it. And, you know, I would say it was the shits. But, but it it's beyond the shits. It wasn't that damn good. <laughs> it's beyond the shits. I, I want to know, who in the fuck is the brain surgeon behind? I don't understand what they're trying to do. They ain't got no brain surgeon. I watch... The matches. Everybody that comes out, every motherfucker looks alike. Yeah, it's the truth. They all do the same goddamn high spots. Right. And you know my feelings for Kevin Nash, but it's all right. I'm still a businessman. No. He comes out one week. He's working Scott Hall. And boys, they broke the indoor record for the worst match I've ever seen. Tell me. And then the next week, I turn back on the TV show. They're standing there together doing a damn interview. Now, I don't know... Please. Give me some psychology behind that. I mean, there's No, somebody in the office there has got to have a picture of somebody fucking a goat. I'm, I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> that's about They're blackmailing the hell out of somebody. Somebody. There. Because well, Eric Bischoff, that's probably his, this, that's his side you job. Know, we gave our business. Go fucking. And I still. Yeah. You know, it's like TNA wrestled in Bristol, Tennessee. I go down to see the show. I walked in that building, you could have threw a hand grenade, you wouldn't have killed nobody. You know, people at ringside would have, people at ringside feel bad. probably went, what the fuck was that? Well, this is like this to me, I know, I don't know how you feel about Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, to me they're a bunch of pieces of shit, okay? They're two big fucking rats in our business, eat, trying to eat all the cheese, leave nothing for the young up and coming guys. What do you do when you watch TNA? And I, and I say it to you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys, because I still like the boys, but they don't understand it. They ain't got it. You take Sting, you take Kurt Angle, you take Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Flair, there, there you get deader than Kelsey's nuts. That's it. So you got Eric, they want to make it the Eric Bischoff, the Kevin Nash, the Hulk Hogan story. And when they done that one time before, they, killed they took a business years. that we were supposed to go into that we wouldn't in the click and they slid it in front of us and put it $500 million in a hole. Kiss my fucking ass. We earned the right and the respect with one another. Not yes. fucking sucking up like this piece of shit Kevin Nash. He, you know, he's got something to say. Say it, I wish he said it to me. Well, he wrestled one of my goddamn students at the show. He had the balls to wrestle one of my damn students at the show and asked my student, who trained you? And he told Manny Fernandez. He goes, well, I'll let you get the heat on me. Yeah, you son of a bitch, because my student would have stripped your ass. Well, he's a piece of shit, sucks up. He's the great biggest non-talent piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. He's been Oz, Vinny, Vegas, Diesel. This son of a bitch should have been Jenna Jameson. If he would have been Jenna Jameson, he still wouldn't have been swallowing, because they wouldn't have gave him none. But for him to run his mouth, he has no respect for anybody that's anybody in this business that's been respected for going up and down the road driving like we used to do, hundreds and thousands of miles, meeting good people, spending time with good people. For him to run his mouth and say something about Overseas. somebody that I've known for, what, 30 years of my life? Shit, I'd kick his damn ass the minute I saw him. Yeah, but see, what, what, what they don't understand about our business, especially like Dixie Carter. You know, you got these guys in there in their ear telling what to do. I mean, look at Vince Russo. Oh, Lord. I mean, he's in there and she's listening to him. I mean, and after 10 years, I mean, if your ratings ain't up over a 0 0.5, after 10 years and you're not going to the houses and not drawing, Dixie, I know, I mean, if you if you ever get a chance to see this video, God damn, honey, change something, all right? They got to go. They don't know what they're doing. 
this. Hey, Tom, well, yeah. Understand this. What you're doing, you're not doing it right. You're doing it flat ass fucking backwards. I mean, get your own hill and build it. Get your own baby face. Don't bring somebody in off another goddamn TV. It's been on there 20 fucking years. Rejects. Jesus Christ. What do you think they're in your show for? They got, their ass got fired from up there. You know, they got tired of them. So brand new, I mean, learn how to, learn how to do this college of our, how to build a hill over here, how to build a baby face. How that you got to understand that no matter who you are, you got to work together in this business. This baby face, don't give a fuck who he is, has got to put this hill over. Right. This ba this hill over here has got to put this baby face over until these two that you've been putting over meet at the top of this triangle. That's how you draw money in this business. And the hills have got to know how to get heat and how to keep it. But they don't know that anymore. Goddamn, they kill themselves off in two seconds. Off.